Hey, hey guys, I hope y'all are having a wonderful, wonderful day today. All right, guys, so <clears throat> we missed out on our Legends Run badge, uh, or our Legends badge this time uh, for last month's event quest. Now, a lot of people, or a lot of stuff has come out, particularly I Like Skills has come out and shown that there's a lot of mercs. And... Um, there's been a lot of talk between the gifting event, the mercs, the units, the... We're going to kind of go over all that today from my standpoint. Um, hopefully I don't lose any subscribers. Uh, but I I have a different stance than most people on this. Now, I'm going to kind of go through them one by one so that uh, you guys understand where I'm coming from. So let's start off with the uh, buying units from stores for half off and things of that nature. Uh, and I'm specifically talking about fake units. Um, I do not believe that should be allowed in the game. 100% uh, that should not be allowed in the game. Uh, there shouldn't be a secondary market for those units. Now I know that will make some people unhappy. Other people, they'll be jumping for joy that I said that. But uh, I used to play a long time ago World of Warcraft. And here's the reason I don't think this should be included. Uh, back when I was playing World of Warcraft, I really needed... I can't remember if it was gold or something like this. Uh, but this was back in 2007, probably. 2008. I was in desperate need of gold. Legitimately couldn't do anything with my character, and I went and bought one million gold for five dollars. And uh, someone came into the World of Warcraft game and delivered it to me, uh, chatted with me for a little bit, and then left, and I had my gold. And uh, I wasn't a huge World of Warcraft player, but I think I got to like level 70 or something, uh, 60 or 70. And... Uh, I lost interest in the game very quickly afterwards, if I'm being honest. Mainly because I didn't feel good about what I had done, and I am a man who is driven by my conscience, and uh, and my conscience was just saying, hey, you know, man, that, that wasn't the right thing to do. Uh, you could tell it was shady, you kind of felt like you were doing a drug deal in, a, in a World of Warcraft, you know, you had to meet in this back corner map part. Um, so, also what happened is about a month later, um, my account got hacked. And people started using my character to do just that. Now, I, I did not find this out for a little bit because, like I said, I stopped playing after this happened. I lost interest in the game because I'm a competitive person. So, that was my one and only time to buy a secondary market um, top things. Now, I don't want to see that happen in Marvel Contest of Champions with people's accounts getting hacked and, you know, things of that nature. It's just not worth it. If you don't have the money, don't buy the stuff. I mean, that's, that's, that's just, that's just it, guys. I'm sorry. I know that's kind of cruel to say that. If you don't have the money, don't buy it. Um, so let's now move on to the gifting, or no, let's move on to botting. So what I mean by botting and modding is whenever someone um, uses another piece of software to modify the game. Now, uh, it can be, you know, an arena bot where you have a essentially program running arena for you and you're not actually playing, or it could be something to the effect of you're in Labyrinth of Legends, or, uh, yeah, Labyrinth of Legends, and you increase your attack so much by modifying your attack uh, that you can, you know, kill one of the people in Labyrinth of Legends within, you know, 20 hits, or 100 hits, or whatever, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, so... <clears throat> I don't agree with that either. I think modding and botting is wrong. 100% um, wrong. So, if we're taking a total, 
Right now, modding and botting, wrong. Secondary unit market, wrong. Now. Let's move on to the gifting event. And this is going to probably upset a lot of people. Um, if, if my... If someone came up to me and said, hey, I have found a way to make money, I'm going to grind arena all year, save up those units, and, you know, I'm going to buy the $5, you know, 825 unit card, and I'm going to log in every day, and I'm going to grind arena, and then there are these top tier alliances that will pay me to come in and donate my units to their alliance and then leave, and I make money. It's a transaction. So, I am an entrepreneur. I own my own CPA firm, and uh, I do see it from an entrepreneur side. And this is where I'm going to upset some people. If, if I had a son, and he was 16, 15, 17, whatever years old, he's like, hey, Dad, man, I grinded this arena, uh... And, and I, I can go make five, seven thousand dollars by, by donating all these units or whatever, a thousand, two thousand, three thousand. I'm going to tell him, son, good job. Uh, way to go, man. Way to turn a passion you have into making money. Um, now, if he did it with bots, no, that's cheating. If he uh, went and bought secondary market units, Really cheap? No, nope. cheating. But if he sat there for hours and hours and grinded, you know, you can grind with a, with a decent roster. You can grind four to 6,000 units a month. Um, and if you have your little $5, and some people can do more than that. Um, but you walk in there with, a you know, essentially 100,000 units. Uh, that's... If you've saved that up and you're that disciplined, um, I'm not mad at you. Do it. That's entrepreneurship 101. And you're not cheating anybody anything. You're selling a service. Someone's buying that service. Um, how the people in these secondary unit places are getting theirs and they're modding, they're doing bots. Uh, so that's the gifting event. So... Um, if Kabam wants to curtail that, just say, hey, whatever you donate in the alliance, if you leave, you lose that, those points. I, you know, I don't know. Prof Hoff had a, Prof Hoff and I like had good ways of getting around that. Um, but as far as the entrepreneurship, as long as you're doing it, uh, what I would call with, with, uh, morals and ethics, I do not have a problem with you doing that. <clears throat> now let's move on to Merck's. Um, I have been affected by Mercs. Um, I lost out on my Legends badge this month. Now, whether I would have got it or not, I don't know. My time was actually pretty high, three hours and 14 minutes or something. And I think the cutoff was like three hours and five or three hours and six minutes or something like that. Um, but as I like pointed out, there were some Mercs in that. Now, here's where I stand on the issue of Mercs. And, and someone's probably going to say in the comments, hey, you're on the fence. You know, get off the pot or take a crap. That's not what I'm doing. I'm telling you where I actually stand on Mercs. <clears throat> a Merc is someone that you can hire to complete content for you. Now, I have never used a Merc. For Marvel Contested Champions, I have never used a Merc. I have never bought it. I have never modified. And I have never used a secondary market for units. And I have also never gone into someone else. I have, I have not done any of the things I have discussed. The only thing I've ever done is bought some of that gold for World of Warcraft and it was a one-time deal and I lost interest because I like competition in the game. That's what drives me. Um, if, if I could pay someone, and I could, I could have someone pay someone to clear the content for me. That's not fun to me. That's not fun to me. But personal preferences aside, um, when it comes to Mercs, I don't feel, I have two sides again, once again, the entrepreneurship part and the cheating part. Now, what do I classify as cheating? Um, 
if you were in a competition and you use someone else to have you win that competition, that is cheating. And that's probably about the basics, as far as basic as I might get on that. So for Legends badges, um, things where there's a competition, things where there's prizes, arena, things of that nature. If you're murking for AQ, AW, arena, um, badges, rewards for um, your time, you're cheating. 100% you're cheating. Um, if for some reason you don't want to do Labyrinth of Legends um, and you know you're never going to do Labyrinth of Legends but you would like those rewards and you would pay to have someone do Labyrinth of Legends and there is no outside you know, competition, um, I don't see a problem with someone doing Labyrinth of Legends for you. It's not for me. I like the competition. But if you know you're never going to do Labyrinth of Legends and you want to pay someone whatever outrageous amount it is, $500, $600 to 100% Labyrinth of Legends for you, um, go for it. Go for it. I, I don't care either way. If you want someone to uh, help, you know, get you uncollected, don't care. You want someone to help you get Cavalier, don't care. You want someone to beat this 6.2 champion boss for you, don't care. When it is just your account and you are in your lane, you stay in your lane, and you are not affecting anybody else's. So you are not marking someone in an AQ war in a season. You're not, you know, marking for an alliance and being able to run map seven when really the players can only run map six. Legends times, um, arenas, um... As long as you're not doing those things and you're just trying, you, you for some reason, you have dumb fingers and you can't beat the champion in Act 6.2 and you want to hire someone to do that just once so you can move on to 6.2, go for it. Don't care. Don't care. Um, the problem with all this is you can't have one without the other generally. And... The reason I come from this standpoint, and I know this movie's run, or this video's dragging on a little bit longer than I thought it would. I'm a CPA. I own my own business. I live in the gray area of the tax world. The white area is what the IRS says we can't do. The black area is what the IRS says we cannot do. The gray area is things that they have not made rulings on yet. This is where CPAs make their money. This is where we save the taxpayer money. Um, and get them a larger refund. It's not illegal. Only time will tell whether it's frowned upon or not because the IRS has not made a ruling. To this day, the IRS has not made ruling about YouTube content. They just haven't. You, you can pretty much deduct anything under the sun at the moment as far as YouTube goes. So uh, that's where I stand on that. I know it's kind of off. Um, so just to review, for those of you who just skipped to the end of the video, just to review, because I don't like talking about this stuff. I'm a very positive person. I don't like being negative. And I feel this is a negative subject. So for me, no to botting. No to botting, no to modifying. Okay? No to marking for Legends runs or any type of competition. Greater gifting event, actually, don't care. Like I said, if you can be an entrepreneur and make money the right way with no modding or botting, go for it. And and no use of secondary units, don't, nope, don't do it. So that's it for me, guys. I, I know that may not jive with some of you because I said it's okay to be a Merc. I did not say it's okay to be a Merc. Um, some of you might say, well, it's okay to you know, to get paid for your units in greater grifting. Yeah, I mean, if my son came to me and said, uh, you know, if I had a child, if they came to me and said, hey, I found a way to make money and I'm doing it the right way and I'm spending time and I'm putting my hard work and effort and then someone's going to someone's gonna purchase what I've earned, yeah, do it. So 
that's my stance. Hopefully you guys don't dislike the video, but um, that's that's how it is for me, guys. That is how it is for me. And uh, yeah, this video has gone on long enough. I probably won't say much else. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please like the video, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, other than that, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, have a blessed one too. Peace.